Okay everyone, the camera is black with my hand over it. This is day two of the craft room rehab and <laughs> I don't even have the words. All right, here we go. It is an unmitigated disaster. <laughs> I forgot I had a tripod, so I set the tripod up, so hopefully this will help. And then I will rotate it so you can see what's going on in here. Alright, I didn't do anything to the desk yet, except for pile more crap on it. <laughs> um, oof. The back wall... Or uh, the wall where the window is still has stuff. Oh, it's so hard to see this terrible light. Um, still has stuff piled on it. And I didn't pile anything new. That's the old stuff that was piled on it. But, oh, look at down here. <laughs> it is <laughs> just sad. All right, I'm going to move you guys around so you can see. That I have taken some stuff out of the closet. And let me see if I can turn the camera around so you can see the closet is open. And ta da! Nope, can't see very well from here. Okay, I'm going to move the tripod. So close your eyes. Bonk, 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 bonk. There we go. Uh, hey, you know what? I forgot. I learned from yesterday. This. Ooh. Uh, I don't know if I can reach it or not. No, I can't. Hang on one second. Let there be light, and there was. Well, there wasn't until I turned it on. Okay, so this is the inside of the closet that some of that stuff on the floor occupied. There is still more in the corner over there. There are one, two tubs a wooden crate, and a bunch of boxes and miscellaneous empty containers sitting in the corner right there currently. But they will be disposed of or dispersed or used later. All right, so here is the top of the... Wait, I have to lift the tripod up. It's not going to go that far. There's the top of the closet still. It's still a disaster. But my iris carts are supposed to be delivered today. I'm going to lower you guys down and put you on the Turn around. Nee, 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 nee. Try to do it as slow as I can. I'm sorry, guys. I understand the motion sickness thing. I don't have it, but I hate it when people whip me around with their cameras. All right. So today, my um, iris carts, I think four of them are supposed to be delivered today. And three more tomorrow. And I ordered a new way to store my little paints in the plastic bottles besides that rolling car, um, that you know, that thing up there on the ladder that it spins on. I've decided that the spinning paint thing is probably not the world's greatest idea. All right, let me turn this off, and I will give you um, an update of what I've done on the back wall I showed you guys yesterday. Okay, so this is the wall where I had um, stuff stacked up way high. And so I took the bookcase that was in the closet, out of the closet, and started, let me move this over a little bit, and started um, reorganizing things on here. I have 41, well actually I'm down by one, so I have 40 12 by 12 uh, pads of scrapbook paper that I don't use that often. So... And I can never remember what's in them, so what I did was I took my black Sharpie pen and used the end where it's all glued together and wrote either the name of the company, the name of the collection, or some, let's see, how do I, some kind of thing like that to denote what's in the pads of paper. I stacked them that way instead of upright. Because there are so many, when I stack them upright on the other bookcase where they came from, they flopped over like dead fish. And I am sick and tired of picking them up, and I shove stuff in there to get them to sit upright. But they just don't do well in the bookcase that way for me. 
Other people might have better solutions, but this did not work for me. So that's the bottom there, and I got one notebook up there. That's my color notebook. So I took my, come on, light change, change, change. Let me back you out. Whoop, nope, that was the wrong way. There we go. Um, I took my cardstock magazine holders and put them on top of the uh, bookshelf. And, of course, you know, the best laid plans, one of them's not going to fit. I'm going to get it figured out. All right, so then um, I didn't change. I store my wooden stamps in. I'll show you how I store wooden stamps currently, but, you know, everything is subject to change on a moment's whim. But the bottom part of that wooden structure there is um, are, are stamps in Lexan drawers that are actually... No, not Lexan. Acrylic frames from Michael's. And I saw this idea, I think I saw it on Facebook one time. You take the uh, cardboard structure out of the frame and you turn it upside down and you store your stamps in it. And I thought that was a marvelous idea. I'm not sure I'm going to leave it that way. But I'm liking the way it looks. The only problem is, is I've accumulated more wooden stamps, so that's not going to work for all my wooden stamps. All right, and then up above, it's the same notebooks that were stored in there yesterday are still there. And I dug a magazine, one of those metal magazine things, out of the closet, put it on top of the wooden box, because I'm, I have an idea to source some stuff in there, but I, I'm not sure. Until my iris carts come later today, I'm just kind of treading water right now. I could not sleep last night from thinking about all of this disaster in here. I lost sleep over it. All right, there's my desk. It looks even worse. Oops, sorry. It looks even worse than it did yesterday. I mean, well, except for my project over there that I've got going. Um, it's... Let me turn... Let me move the tripod for a second. Sorry, guys. Oops. Trying not to get crazy here. Over here. Can you see that? I can't... I'm not sure. Whoop. Nope, you couldn't. Oh, yeah, I could. All that stuff down there. That stuff that was on... On, on the back wall that I just showed you a few minutes ago. I took all that off. There are nine cubes, those wooden cubes from Michael's. There are nine of them stacked up on my hearth in the living room on the fireplace that still have stuff in them that has to be put away. But I just ran out of room in here. I still need to come in here. Well, I don't know. Maybe I should just close the door and walk away. <laughs> but... I came in here this morning after two cups of courage and um, thought I would film what this place looks like right now. Let me give you the perspective from this side. There, look at that. Isn't that a lovely thing? <laughs> Ow. And that's all stacked in the corner. Some of those things will be emptied as soon as the iris carts come. All right, now, so I'm going to take you, I'm going to turn this off, and then I'm going to take you in the hallway. All right, so these are the containers that I had neatly done in here the other day. I'll go lower. Oh, yeah, good. Oh, I like this tripod thing. All right, so there's all the iris carts that I have already filled up. I had to move them out of the room. Those are shoebox uh, drawers. Only one, two of them have things in them, which will be removed. And then I'll pull all the labels off of those, and those will probably go to Goodwill. I think I'm done with those kinds of things. I don't know. We'll see. So there's stuff that's already put away. That's stuff, the, the plastic containers out of there, those came out of the closet. I just thought I'd, I'd set them on top there to see what it, they would look like. Anyway, so this is the situation as of today, Thursday, May something. Uh-oh, don't tell Gina Aarons I don't know what the date is. <laughs> All right, guys, I will come back later after I get done with putting more stuff away. I don't know. We're, some, we're expecting some really wicked weather today, and I'm not really sure what my delivery from Amazon's going to be like. I, my local post office lady drives some kind of a 
an SUV, and two boxes took up the back, but I'm expecting four boxes today, so I don't know how that's going to get here. We'll see. Anywho, so that's my update so far on my room organization redo. Oh my goodness, it's a disaster series. <laughs> I'll see you guys later on another day. Bye. Good morning. Well, if you look at this, you might not think so. <laughs> okay, so this is day three. So let me start by going, moving, sorry, this way. And the wall of white laminate shelves, shelves, are gone. Bookcase is in place. I got stuff stacked up darn near to the ceiling at the moment. I don't think it's going to stay that way because I'm expecting two more iris carts today and my paint storage system for you know the little bottles of acrylic paint. Floor is still looking pretty grim. I'm um ugh. I was out in here till 10 o'clock last night, all day and until 10 o'clock last night. Floor looks pretty bad still. It looks like, you know how your house looks right before you finish all the packing? It looks the worst. Well, I feel like I'm at that stage right now. Some of this stuff needs to be a little more organized and whittled down. I have, let me show you this. Ugh. I took this stuff out of the closet. No, I'm not going to be able to close it. There's so much junk here. These are all my bead containers. The ones at the bottom with no label are wooden and pony beads, which I care nothing about. Um, and all this other stuff are my bead boxes. Oh, now I can't open the door. Okay. Um... The other day when I said that's my stencil storage system, it's my sticker storage system. And I was not going to put a little caption. All right, so this corner still is a disaster. But it'll take, you know, nothing to fix it up. But I'm just throwing everything there in the corner for the time being. The shelves, the units from Michael's are still over here up against the window. I'm having a dilemma about what to do with them. I really want them to go away. I like the other storage system better with the iris carts, but the kind of stuff that I'm storing in here are things like um, paper, finished journals, unfinished journals, um, my, uh, what is over there? Oh, my uh, di different things that I use on a, re use this stuff on a more regular basis. And, and, I'm not sure exactly what to do with this, but when I get the two new iris containers today, and they're not really carts, they're the stackable type things that are just nothing but drawers, and um, I think they're, I ordered the ones that are big enough to put 12 by 12 paper in, so my, I think my painty paper and miscellaneous paper like that's going to be stored in those, so I'm going to have to make room for that because there's no room obviously in that corner. The desk. Oy. Oh, oh, okay. Since I'm pointing this way, let me go and show you what the desk looks like. Now, it looks different than the other day, but it still looks pretty stinking bad. <laughs> so, as you can see, I am still working on the desk because it looks really nasty right now. And then here's an up close look of. You know, the disastrous corner. I've been pulling, I got all the stuff off the top of that little wooden shoe rack yesterday. Most of it's gone. The stuff underneath it is my dilemma. Plus, where do I store my stamps? I want them out where I can see them. They're not going to fit in some of the drawers that I've ordered. So, I'm, I don't know. I, I don't know what to do. But, I know that I still need to move forward. I need to clean some of this crap off my Ikea cart that I have. A lot of it's ephemera. And I would like my pens and stuff to go more on the cart. Some of it to go more on the cart. Um, here's the grim point of view from this way. <laughs> like I said, it looks pretty grim. Those containers you see right there, 
are full of empty containers or they are empty them the pink one on the top is totally empty the one with the green lid has nothing but contain empty containers the white one has empty containers and the bottom one has empty containers that's how many I have emptied out and tore these little drawers let me go to the closet sorry guys it's going to get bumpy let me see if I can open the closet door hang on oh all right so closet looks a lot better upper portion still needs work I um I'm still working on the inside there. I gotta find somewhere to put the duct tape. I don't have a lot of duct tape, so I don't want to waste a nice drawer on duct tape. But and because then I know what I'll do is I'll accumulate more duct tape to fill it up. So I think I'm gonna put the duct tape in those drawers up there in the top. Um because that's exactly what I took them out of. <laughs> Sometimes the storage system works. Alright, so what do I have up here? I have jewelry supplies, like, you know, little charms and stuff like that up here. My little metal anvil that's not going to fit in a drawer because I have it nailed down to a board. It's just not going to fit in these drawers. Um, hanging mini punches. I think I'm going to take those all out and be done with that because I never use them. I might as well get rid of them, to be honest with you. All right, let me pull this out of the way so you can see better. Okay. Um, I do still have some of the, um, clear tubs. Some of those on there are absolutely, are, are empty. Like the card, these, these boxes right here look like that. Some of those are empty. And I'm not getting rid of my cross stitch. I can't part with it. That's the last of my cross stitch. Um, and the other things have things in them that are too